Today I'd like to talk a little bit about creating ruled surfaces. Now, there are various tools that you can use to basically attain the same identical shape. The first tool I'd like to talk about is under the sweep function. So if I go into sweep, you'll notice that under profile type I have line, subtype two limits, and then I also have another type limit with middle. This will give you a ruled surface between two guides. Now, um, basically these will do identical things. It's just the second curve that you select becomes a middle curve for this and it extends the surface beyond that uh, the equal length from the first curve to the second curve. So we'll just go into two limits and I'll pick guide curve one guide curve 2 and you'll notice that the spine is set by the first guide curve that you specify. I'll hit preview and there's my initial surface. This is telling you that the surface is relimited. If I want to, and I do, I'm going to pick this line as my spine curve. You're going to see me use this line over and over again for spines. I'm going to preview you'll see a slight change but now these edges are aligned to this as a spine rather than this as a spine. I'm going to select OK, close and I'm going to do a quick analysis on this. I'm going to go into a porcupine and I'm going to pick this surface. Now as I look at this you'll see that my radius analysis set to automatic is saying that I have infinite curvature. So in this direction, from section to section, or in this case guide to guide, this is infinite, meaning it is linear. Infinite curvature, or I should apologize, infin infinite radius is a linear edge. If I cancel this out and I go into my measure tool, measure item, and I pick this edge, you'll notice that it comes up as a straight line. So I'm just going to go into the sweep, I'm going to go into properties and just change the color of this. Next I'm going to go into, I'll go right into blend. Guide 1, guide 2, hit my preview and you'll notice that there is a difference between the first surface and this blend surface. Now I'm going to select OK, I'm going to hide sweep 2 and I'm going to go ahead and do my analysis on this surface just, just for now. And you'll notice once again that this is infinite. So if I do my measure item and pick that edge you'll notice that once again it is a line line and blend. The differences are with the blend that I didn't pick a spine string. I can, which I'm going to do, and I'll show you the result here in a moment. But you'll notice that this now goes to the endpoints. If I analyze the actual, let's bring this up and out, geometric information of let's say this face you'll see that it is a 2 1 and a 6 2. If I bring back my sweep and do the same geometric analysis on this face it is a 4 1 6 2. So the math is slightly different. You can see that. Now if I go into my blend double click on that I can go into coupling changes from ratio to spine, pick the same spine, and what you're going to notice is that these surfaces are pretty much identical. The zebra striping is telling me that they're identical. If I do an analysis now on that, this is the face from the blend, 4162. I'm going to hide the blend, I'm going to go pick this, sweep, you'll see 4162. So this is telling me that the blend and the sweep are now identical. So 
I can use either one of those tools to attain a ruled surface. Another option that I have, let me hide this, is with multi-section surface. I'll pick guide one, guide two, preview, select OK. Let me hide the sweep for now. Once again, I'll do my quick analysis on this, my porks. You can see infinite, so again, it's linear. If I come in here, and again, I can use a spine on this, but because of the way multi-section surface does its business, you'll see it comes up with this computational error. It doesn't like what's going on in this area. So it keeps, even though it uses that line as a spine, it keeps the original base surface, sort of ignores it. So I'll just turn this back to computed. So this is sort of limiting what you can do with that surface. Now I'm going to go ahead and change this color. I'm going to build another blend. Go to properties. Make you green. And I'll go into my blend. I know I have one in the tree, but I'll just build another one because I can. Preview. And you'll see that in this case, the blend and the multi-section surface are, again, identical. One lays directly on top of the other. So, as you can see, I can use sweep with uh, line type in two guides, or I can use a blend or multi-section surface. They'll all give me the exact same type of result. 